some more collectibles for you in Alan Wake 2. How's it going everybody, Mr. After Games here. In this video I'm gonna show you all the collectibles that you're gonna get in Return 5 Old Gods. So before going to the nursing home, uh, you're gonna find the cold stash number 12 in total in the game, northwest of Bunker Woods, up the hill from the break room. And this is the location on the map where you're gonna find it. Up here, up to north. It's a break room close by, so go there in order to, to get your first cold stash. And it's a digital lock for this, so just follow the pattern in order to unlock it. Next to the cold stash, we need to place the mother doll on the house and the child on the tree on the next nursery rhyme puzzle, and that's number 11. Don't forget to pick uh, the dolls up after you finish the puzzle. So again, mother doll on the house and child doll on the tree. And pick them up afterwards. This is the location on the map, south er, southern of the previous uh, cold stash. Now following the path, you're gonna encounter some wolves. And uh, after you finish uh, following the black marks, you're gonna find the uh, the lantern charm, charm number 12. And this is the location here, just very close by to the puzzle and the cold stash in the same area. Now we're gonna find cold stash number 13 on the back of a truck to the south of the break room. And if you follow the path from the break room, you're gonna find this cold stash here in the back of the truck. The code is 177. And the location is here south of the break room. This is the location on the map where we're gonna find it. Next collectible that we're gonna find is lunchbox 15 and inside we're gonna find seven manuscript fragments. There's Don't forget manuscript fragments can unlock cool abilities for all the weapons that you have. On the hill directly west of the cold stash, south of where you follow the path to the manor. This is the location here on the map where you're gonna find the 15th lunch box and of course a message in it now we're gonna go to the Valhalla nursing home and we're gonna start return five old gods once you get inside you're gonna find the first room on the right once you enter the manor ring the bell on the front of the door and wait for the nurse to open it that's of course what we've done already but uh, on the wall we're gonna find the map of Valhalla nursing home and this map is uh, very important as all the maps in the game because with those you can find the collectibles quite easily. Right next to the map we're gonna find another lunchbox, lunchbox 16 and in this one we're gonna find five manuscript fragments. Again use those to upgrade your weapons. In the rec room next door in uh, the manor uh, we're gonna find Koskiela Brother Commercial 5 Bright Falls blend. In order to trigger it, you will need to walk into the lounge and then back out. This is, uh, you can check it by uh, going in the television, in the TV, in your uh, menu and uh, you can find that in there. Just check it out. Now what we need to do is to unlock the wellness center. So you're gonna need to progress the story a bit. Then Rose will open up the door for you and you can get out in order to get into the wellness center. Just uh, straight back on the other side of the road, you're gonna find the wellness center. While you get inside, uh, after you get inside the wellness center, on the left side, you could uh, find the map here, just at the entrance of the wellness center. And the map will definitely help you out during uh, your playthrough. Now to get the hunting rifle, this one is a bit trickier, so advance a bit until you get to this uh, room. This is the location here of the security room. And once you enter the room, you can access the computer with code 170823 and unlock the doors. Once you get the message that the doors are unlocked, you can uh, get out of the computer, you're gonna see also a video of Thor, it's quite uh, funny. But uh, get out on uh, this door, uh, go north in the, into the staff lounge, and behind reception you're gonna find a box. 
So go out and uh, at the reception, behind the reception, you're gonna find the box. Now take this to the door to the right of the security room and you're gonna find the rifle inside. So as I said, find the doorknob. Now come back. This is the location, first of all, where you're gonna find it in the reception, in the ward reception. There are some uh, containers there that uh, it's gonna give you some items. But then go back to the security room and on the left side here you're gonna find this door, put the doorknob, go inside and then you could uh, see that the hunting rifle stays there on the in, in this locker here. So go get it and you're gonna get also a trophy. You're gonna need to advance the story a bit further uh, because uh, it's a big chunk of uh, story here. So uh, I'm gonna leave you to, to do that and then we're gonna come back to do some more, uh, some more items. Now if you go into the basement, you're gonna find the bolt cutters. The bolt cutters, it's, uh, you need it to, to progress so you can't miss it. You're gonna need to turn off some lights, get the key to this cabinet and then get the bolt cutters. Afterwards, you're gonna progress and you're gonna have to fight Cynthia. I have a separate video for that, but I'm gonna leave it also here the end part of the battle. And also you're gonna get a trophy called Girl in Love after you defeat her. It's not an easy boss, I can tell you that. After you defeat Cynthia and you're out in the woods, among the trees between the two paths leaning west from the nursing home, you're gonna find the lunch, lunch box 17 and inside nine manuscript fragments, you must use the ball cutters on the gate west of the nursing home in order to reach this area. And of course, hopefully you're gonna defeat some of the Takens nearby, but then uh, you can uh, grab what's inside of the lunch box. Next the collectible, is called stash 14 but first we're gonna need to find the bunker wood stash key and you need to follow up some arrows down the short track to the east behind the rock with a yellow arrow on it in order to open it you will need to get the key as i said which is found by following the gray signs with white arrows to a tree to the south after you get the key come back here to get what's inside of the cold stash there's a rocket there and some ammo Definitely you can use those easily to fight uh, fight out some enemies and this is the location on the map where you're gonna find it. Next one it's called Stash 15. It's our 13 collectible slightly north of the main path past the break room just before the path splits into two. The code is found on the rocks. Follow the direction of the arrows for the order but I'm gonna leave you with the order as, as well for, for the symbols also the location on the map where you're gonna find them it's a quite uh, easy to, to crack this code mm. 
Next collectible, it's a nursery rhyme puzzle, and it's the 12th one that we got. Inside Ranger Station. First of all, you need to go on top of these stairs. And we're gonna need to break into the Ranger Station. Place the child doll on the house and the monster doll on the sweet candy. Don't forget to pick them up afterwards. So once you get into the ranger station, here on the ground floor, you're gonna find this puzzle. This is the location on the map of the ranger station. Place the child doll on the house and the monster doll on the sweet candy. That will solve the puzzle. Of course, after solving a puzzle, we're gonna go grab a charm. Go grab the dolls as well, don't forget that. So afterwards, we're gonna need to follow the path go outside first and then go back inside and on the top floor we need to follow up the black prints that uh, have appeared follow these footsteps upstairs to the bathtub afterwards turn around and follow the footprints to the bed then the charm spawns spawns on the bed this is the 13th charm and it's a coffee mug charm as you know coffee mug charms will help you revive this is also a trophy, so if you die with a coffee mug charm, the charm will break and you will be revived. Next is called Stash 16, but first of all we need to find the Ranger Station Stash Key. Head outside of the Ranger Station to the chimney on the left and you will find the Ranger Station Key there on the ground next to it. This is the location on the map where you're gonna find it. Take this to the cold stash on a hill west of the ranger station and you could open up the cold stash key. Just be aware there are some takens nearby so you have to defeat them first. After you defeat the taken and the wolves, I think there are some wolves there as well. This is the cold stash here so go grab what's inside. Next collectible it's another lunchbox, lunchbox 18. And this one will give us eight manuscript fragments. Northeast of the cold stash on the lower of the two tracks. And that's the location on the map where you're gonna find it. So go grab what's inside. Next one, it's a nursery rhyme puzzle, 13th. You're gonna find it on the beach east of the lunchbox. Place the monster doll on the wave and the child doll on the jewelry and the mother doll on the boat. Don't forget to pick them up afterwards. Again, Master Doll on Wave, Child Doll on Jewelry, and Mother Doll on the Boat. This will uh, get you another charm, and it's quite a nice one. But first of all, do the puzzle. Then you're gonna need to defeat two Taken Divers, which will be a bit difficult to defeat, but hopefully you can do that. After you defeat them, in front of you, uh, near these uh, two Taken Divers, by the upturned boat, you're gonna find the Valhalla Nursing Home Charm. Next collectible, it's another lunchbox, lunchbox 19. This will give us six manuscript fragments amongst the trees right next to the beach. So after you get the puzzle done and the charm, you will get this lunchbox very close by. Just uh, run around the same area. Next collectible, it's another lunchbox number 20 and this will give us nine manuscript fragments. Head across the bridge after you defeat the Taken to find this just south of the entrance to the boatyard by a tree. And this is the location on the map for this uh, lunchbox. Next, it's a nursery rhyme puzzle 14 and you're gonna find it on a wharf on, of the boatyard. Place the mother doll on the wave and the monster doll on the boat. Don't forget to pick them up afterwards. Again, mother doll on the wave and monster doll on the boat. Get them back and then go back to this boatyard to get charm 15 after defeat some takens. This will appear next to the beached boat in the middle of the boatyard as well as several takens. So defeat them and then you're gonna get anchor charm. This is a quite nice charm as well. Cold stash number 17, you're gonna find it if you head towards the lodge and this will be next to a white van. So head towards the lodge and uh, here next to it, next to this white van, you're gonna find the cold stash. This will uh, need some uh, buttons to be pressed, so remember the combination and put in the buttons, press in the buttons in order to, to get the cold stash done.
Next, it's another cold stash, cold stash 18, and an inventory upgrade, the last one. Go to the wharf south of the sherry station and unlock the gate with the ball cutters. So this is a gate here. Use the ball cutters that you just got. Go into the shed on the right side to find the stash. The code is 697. Contains also an inventory upgrade. This is very important. So don't miss this one because that will definitely help you out. Go to the um, shed and inside you're gonna find this cold stash. The code again is 697. Cold stash 19 is the next one, inside the locked fence, next to the diner, or behind the diner, and behind the station, accessed with the ball cutters. The code can be found by looking at the symbols in the park. One is on the radar dish, one is on the floor, by the benches, one is in the gazebo. Enter the symbols in the same order. And you can see also the symbols here in my video, so use them and uh, get that done. Now the next thing we need to do is to head to Watery to collect the remaining collectibles there. So first we're gonna get cold stash number 20. After you unlock the gate next to Kalevala Knight's workshop and you're gonna find this in the back, the code is 542. Don't forget here there are some taken divers, uh, so defeat them first and afterwards you can get access to the cold stash or you can try to stay in the light as much as possible in order to not uh, uh, fight the enemies but I think this is uh, you you can't uh, you can't do this without defeating them next one it's a nursery rhyme puzzle 15 inside the trailer park trailer that has a ball cutter lock on it place the wise elder doll on the eye and the deer doll on the heart and uh, I just showed you the location on the map we're gonna find it in the southern side of Watery in the trailer park area go inside this trailer and here you're gonna find the puzzle again the wise elder doll on the eye and the deer doll on the heart don't forget to pick them up afterwards and uh, after you solve the, pu the puzzle there will be a taken nearby so uh, defeat the, that guy and then you can uh, get the charm sitting on a low cabinet by the exit of the trailer and this is the deer fest charm now what we need to do is to head to cauldron lake to collect the remaining collectibles there once we get to the private cabins in cauldron lake we're gonna need to use the ball cutters to access the rental cabins as i said to the north and then inside cabin 2 you must uh, this lunch box is inside cabin 2 but you must go through cabin 3 to reach it. So this is uh, lunch box number 21. And inside we're gonna find 9 manuscript fragments. So first of all go uh, in cabin 3. And then go outside and get into cabin 2. Inside you're gonna find the lunch box on a table. Next collectible is the Nursery Rhyme Puzzle 16 and it's inside cabin 4. To reach it, crouch under the fallen tree behind cabin 3. Go through cabin 5 and then turn left. Place the monster doll on the hatchling, the crow doll on the eye and the hero doll on the jewelry. Pick them up afterwards. Now what we need to do is to head across to cabin 6 that will be uh, neck, uh, on outside, so go outside. Here you're gonna f fight uh, an enemy. So defeat that guy, it's a big, uh, big enemy. Will spawn inside, so be ready to shoot. This is the enemy. Don't worry if you have some light and uh, the shotgun. This is an easy kill. As I said, head across to cabin 6 to find uh, this next to the TV gonna find the coffee mug, another coffee mug charm. Um, the door is locked until you solve the nursery rhyme puzzle so you can't open it until you get that done. 
Also in the FBC crate next to the charm, you're gonna find the father door, the last uh, doll, nursery rhyme doll number 13. This crate will only appear after completing all 16 nursery rhyme puzzles up until this point. So hopefully you get uh, that one done. But next um, clue, it's called Witch Finder Station. And uh, that will uh, get us uh, there to the um, to here. Uh, first of all, we need to get this cold stash 20, 21. And uh, first of all, get the lake cabin uh, stash key. Head north to find some trees with numbers painted on them. Go behind the tree with the number two to find the lake cabin stash key, as I was saying, on the ground. Now take this back to cabin one, southernmost cabin after defeating some wolves to unlock the stash inside. You can find it in the in the bathtub, that's the location here. In the in the bathroom, you're gonna find this uh, called stash key. You just need uh, the key that we got and uh, open it up. Now what we need to do is head to Witchfinder Station, which is further north. So it's a bit of a walk from uh, this location. As I said, head to Witchfinder Station, where you'll have a rhyme puzzle being told to you over a radio station instead of written down. There will be drawings to place your dolls around, around the house on both floors. Now on the first puzzle, it's on the right side. And here we need to place the father doll that we just got on the eye downstairs. And then the hero doll on the sun, also downstairs. But first of all, as I said, place the father doll on the eye. Hopefully you, you got that one uh, already. It was the previous collectible that we just got. I'm gonna leave uh, this like this. Uh, so get the father doll on the eye, the hero doll on the sun, and uh, the mother doll on the heart. If you go upstairs, you need to put the child doll on the hatchling and the trickster doll on the wave. These two are upstairs. So that's uh, that's up to you to do. All of them are in the same uh, area in uh, the Witchfinder station. And now, uh, after you talk to the man on the radio, you can pick up the charm box from the table for an extra slot. This is very important. So uh, go get uh, go get that. As I was saying, uh, first finish this puzzle. Now go climbing up the stairs. Uh, we're gonna need to find uh, the ch the hatchling. So go here in the children's uh, playground. On the hatchling, put the child doll. Who is this? And now we're gonna need to find the wave. So look around until you find the the, the wave. Once you do that, put a trickster doll on the wave. Here we're gonna unlock also a trophy called Shifting Reality after finishing up all the nursery rhyme puzzles. And I was saying previously, to get the extra charm slot, talk, finish talking to the man on the radio, pick up the charm box from the table for an extra slot. That's it for this video, really appreciate if you had the time to watch it until the very end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Smash the like button, that will really help me out. And ring the notification bell to be notified when I post new Alan Wake 2 videos. Thank you all and see you in my next video. Bye!